Welcome to the second stop of the 2023 Pro Wakeboard Tour. We are here on the water at Dallas Landing Park in Ackworth, Georgia. I'm Alexis Score, joined by Dan Olson, and we are going to bring you all the action today. Thanks, Alexa. The big question is, who's going to take down the top spot at this event? Corey Tunison walked away with the event number one win, but ended up suffering an ankle injury last week and did not make it through qualifying yesterday. Nick Rapp is also coming back from an injury and also did not make it through qualifying. So now it's up to the young guns like Tyler Hyam and Sam Brown to step it up and see who takes that top spot today. That's right. The door is wide open for those guys. Nick and Corey have won the past four overall championships. So having them both out of this event is going to have huge implications on the 2023 overall. It's going to be super exciting and we're here for all of it. Also joining us today is Corey Yarkin. She's down on the water and we're going to check in with her right now. Thanks, Alexa. Thanks, Dan. Well, here in Ackworth, what we can always count on is great weather, a great crowd, but what we don't know is after all those injuries, who is going to be on top of the podium this afternoon? So I got to catch up with a handful of the riders to see who they think might be able to take home that win. Listen, things got a little shaken up today. Nick's out, Corey's out. Where does that leave the door open for you? Um, I don't think it leaves any door open for me. I think Everyone here is just as capable as getting first, second, third as uh, anyone else. So, I mean, I'm just going to go out there and try and wakeboard and see what happens, really. you got to have some strategy, though. I mean, I saw those kicks. <laughs> no strategy, really. I'm not going to lie to you. I just show up, wakeboard, and if it goes good, then that's me. I'm happy. Um, to be honest, like I hate to hear the injuries. You know, we've had we have three like pretty crazy injuries. Like Gunther out for the season, Nick showing up like hurt ribs, like he hasn't been doing too great, and then uh, Corey just hurt his ankle a week ago. So it's definitely a different field here in the semis, and the finals definitely going to look a lot different this event. So we'll see how it goes. I mean, but everyone on tour is capable of winning an event. So you know you can't count anybody out and don't want to take it easy. So I mean, it's not always good to see like you know the the guys getting hurt or injured or whatever, but I mean, those guys are young, so there's more to come, but then uh, I'm just trying to do my best. Who's got that special spice today that you've seen? Oh, we got plenty of people with a lot of uh, special spice. Sam Brown, Steezy's man alive, absolutely dope. You you never know what he could do. Um, and obviously, Tyler Hyam can never count him out, is just absolutely on fire. You know, we're gonna have Jamie User, that is gonna go super technical. I don't think he's gonna double yet, but I've seen him do some Mope sevens and stuff. You had one of the highest scores. You had the highest scores in the quarters yesterday. Does that give you like more confidence? You think, okay, in your mind, you're like picturing yourself on top of that podium this afternoon? Of course, yeah. I'm just telling myself I'm gonna win today. Um, and I hope like it's gonna happen. Um, I think everything happens for a reason. So I'm just gonna try my best and try and stomp down my run and just hope for the best. See my tears, you're gonna try your best. Your mom's gonna be so proud. I know, <laughs> yeah, she will. <laughs> well, good luck today. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. All right, well, there you have it. Some of those injuries that have already impacted who will be at the podium this afternoon. And we got some of these riders that are chomping at the bit to be at the top of those steps. But before we get to that, right now, we're gonna kick things off with the Junior Pro Finals. Thank you, Corey. First Junior Pro riders off the dock. Let's see what this next generation has in store for us. Yeah, Dan, first off the dock, we have Stefano Camalo out of Italy. And while this is one of my favorite wakeboard venues. It can be a little challenging out there with all the boat rollers. That is true, but he still threw down some really good tricks. Uh, Noah Ballard coming in after that. Um, heel side, front side, nine. Bolts, love it. Throwing down in Absolutely. these conditions. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, like I said, challenging, but these guys are the best of the best. And of course, still laying stuff down. Next up, we had Daniel Johnson out of North Carolina. Again, a pretty good run. Definitely a good run. Had some bangers there for sure. Toe side, backside, double grab, uh, nose grab KGB, heel side KGB five, double seven heels, double grab 720, and a chrome mode five to round that pass out. So a lot of bangers, however, again, going down, which changes up kind of how much time you have, how many tricks you can get in. And then of course, last off the dock, we had Bo Wildman, Bo taking the first stop. Now we've got him here rounding out this crew and riding pretty smooth. Absolutely. Kind of some highlights on that. Heel side, front side seven, back side five, crow five, smooth roll the blind. I think he might've wanted a little bit more out of that trick, but then came back toe side nine, went down on a three to one early in that second pass, but ended that second pass with the three to one to put that 
kind of in the judge's face of like, hey, I can do this for sure. So he still had a, a, a fall, but definitely one of those things that super impressive run. I think Bo's got this. I thought Bo was going to take the top spot as well. However, the judges' results are in, and the winner for the Junior Pro is Daniel Johnson. We've got Corey Yarkin down by the water, and she's with our winner right now. All right, guys, I'm here with our Junior Pro wakeboarding champion of the day, Daniel Johnson. You must be feeling pretty good. I'm feeling amazing right now. Conditions were good all day. Supra, PWT, it was a great event, great crowd. I was just really happy to get to have some better conditions today. Feeling good for the dub. That's awesome. What's it like to ride in front of some of the greatest in this sport? Is it making you nervous or what? It's definitely nerve wracking to have all the top dogs on the dock and everybody's there getting ready. It gets serious and it definitely is nerve wracking. Um, growing up, who, which pro inspired you to ride like you do? Honestly, Gunther Oka was a huge inspiration coming up for me. Loved watching him ride boat and cable and winch. Just has such a great style. Awesome. Well, let's see that trophy. All right. One more time for Daniel Johnson. Congrats again. We're going to throw it back to my friends Alexa and Dan. Congratulations, Daniel Johnson, on that win. Love to see what this next generation is pushing the sport to. We do have some live motocross going on here at the event as well, so all things happening here at the Pro Wakeboard Tour. That's right. We also have the best wake surfers in the world here today. Let's check out the Pro Wake Surf Finals. Starting with Bo Wildman, we just saw him in the Junior Pro Wakeboard, also competing in Pro Surf, and he's a contender in this one too, riding super smooth almost standing up two full passes and then going down at the end. Going down on that last trick for him, but like you said, two full stand-up passes, non-stop action on all three of these riders. Something fun to watch for sure. Yeah, Jet Lambert, second off the dock. This kid is 13 years old. He took the first stop of the Pro Wake Tour. We'll see what he has today. Riding really smooth, however, the consistency maybe not there. Going down twice on his run last We've got Taylor Swanson. You want to talk about nonstop action from this guy? Mind blowing over here of watching this. It's like a video game out there for these guys. Seriously, and the Swanson bros are always bringing it. We know that for sure. I mean, it came down to consistency today. The results are in, and in first place, we do have Taylor Swanson, followed by Bull Wildman and Jet Lambert. And we've got Corey Yarkin down on the dock right now with Taylor. Ladies and gentlemen, Taylor Swanson, Pro Wake Surf Champion right. of the day here yeah. in Ackworth, Georgia. Yo, you got the style, you got the moves, you must be feeling pretty hype right now. Oh, you know I am, yeah, I'm feeling uh, amazing. So, yeah. Man, a few words, but you have a guitar now to prove how great you are. Yeah, I know, yeah, the guitar's pretty awesome. I just went out there and landed all my tricks like I was supposed to do and yeah. There you go. You sh you shred it out there, and now you're gonna shred that trophy. Congrats, yeah, yeah. congrats again to Taylor Swanson, Wake Surf Champion of the Day here on Pro Wakeboard Tour Stop Number Dos. But y'all stick around because the men's finals are coming up in just a Let's few go, minutes. Baby. Let's go. <laughs> Welcome back to the second stop of the 2023 Pro Wakeboard Tour. We have the main event, the Pro Wakeboard Finals, about to roll. But earlier, we caught up with Sam Brown to give us a tour of the Pro Wakeboard Tour Edition Supra SA 550. Let's check out the boat that pulls this amazing event. What up, guys? I'm Sam Brown. I'm in the new SA 550 Pro Tour Edition for 2023. Um, couple of things I like about this boat is obviously the interior. It's beautiful. We got all blue in the front, all black in the back, and uh, you don't see this on any other boat. This is uh, exclusively to this edition. And um, I like the stereo in this. It's just perfect for being on the lake and bumping those tunes as loud as you like. And um, yeah, I mean, being on the lake with your friends or family is just awesome. And then in the back here, we got the 575 Inmar Raptor engine. I mean, this thing is just a beast. It'll go all day, all its life, and you, you'll be able to load your boat and make it the wake as big as you can possibly get it. And I mean, this thing is just the best engine you could possibly ask for in a boat. Epic boat to be in, epic boat to ride behind in the Pro Wakeboard Tour. And yeah, this is, this is the main machine right here. 
That boat looks amazing and it's been pumping out that perfect wake all day long. But let's get to the main event here with the first rider off that Inmar start dock, Kai Ditch. I was talking to Masi just five minutes ago. He said that Kai threw down the run of his life yesterday and today in quarters and semifinals. So I'm super stoked to see what he's got here. Yeah. Open it up with a nice clean mute mode to start things off. Super technical trick, obviously. Crow mode five, super nice, clean. Pass number one is coming together for Kai. Definitely a unique style. Ooh. All right, that's what he wanted. Yeah, toe side nine. Let's see if he can link this up. It's obviously quality over quantity. These guys just really wanted to stand it up clean. Heel backside okay, seven, so that's go. what they want. Standing up that first run, I mean, Kai is stoked. The door is wide open right now with Nick and Corey out, so it's anyone's game. Yeah, and if there's one thing I know about Kai, he's gonna turn it up on this second pass. Backside five, super clean. Love the late grab on that, for sure. Coming back in here on his heels. Oh, kind of got caught up a little bit, but powered through it on that roll the blind. Super steezy, keeping that Keeping that style, bringing it back to wakeboarding for sure. Yeah, like we said, with that huge flotilla and all the boats out here, there is some chop out there, so you're gonna get caught up every now and then on yeah. the wake, but he's powering through yeah. right now, trying to go for a stand-up run. Exactly. Three to one, puts it down, and now we get to the go to the double up on this. Super exciting, two full stand-up passes out of Kai, unique style. Yep. You can hear La Familia going crazy <laughs> behind us. That is one of their own. They're all so supportive of each other. So I know they're gonna go absolutely bananas if he lands this double up. That Super SA 550, those wakes are gonna converge. And we're gonna see something amazing happen here in this realm. He's gonna come in here on his heel side edge, watch those come together, tease it up. Double back roll, just going oh. down on it though. Kai maybe not connecting just how he wanted to, but still going for the double back roll and going down. He's still gonna be stoked on standing up those two runs. Now down to Corey by the water with Kai. Here with Kai, first off the dock in the finals. I mean, how'd you feel out there? I mean, it's a little rough, but it's not that bad. Um, definitely gotta just edge hard, commit, pray to Lord the wake's gonna be good. And then, I don't know, just try to Make it back to the dock. Eight tricks in the double up means a lot for the judges. So, yeah, just trying to make it back to the dock. You made it back to the dock. You're standing. Here you are, my friend. But listen, you going first, you have to, like, you don't know what anyone else is going to throw. So what what goes through your head before you jump in? Yeah, well, it's definitely, like, a little hard because you, you can't, like, speculate on what, what you should do, maybe keep it safe. But also helps, like, you just got to go and send it, you know, no, no pressure. You just got to go and do what you do always. And... I don't know, it kind of worked, kind of didn't, missed a couple of tricks, but I don't know, we'll see how everyone else does. We will see. Well, yeah. you sent it. Good job, bud. Thank you. I am a big Sam Brown fan because I do love some good style, and when Sam's on the water, pretty much anything can happen. He'll mute 540, I mean, come on, right out of the gates. And going big, like into the flats, putting on a show for this flotilla behind us. That so KGB, style. that style, everything about it, scream Sam Brown. Switch heel seven. Nose grab on the beginning, always making sure to get those grabs and land so smooth. This guy's cool as a cucumber. Regular heel seven, I mean back-to-back -back sevens to round out pass number one. That is the way to do it. Now if we go to that Roswell replay, that switch heel side front side seven, that mute mode five, I mean, what else can we ask for out of a first stand-up pass? Getting ready here to start pass number two, coming in on his toe side edge. Let's see what he has in store for us. Blind Pete, got the, technic the technicality on that trick for sure, invented by Danny Harf. Switching it back around. Skeezer five, got another tech trick on that. The beauty of this is there's always, it's quantity over quality, or quality over quantity, excuse me. <laughs> toe side, backside five. He's got the quality tricks there that everybody's looking for. That Super SA 550 pumping the wake out. Heel backside side, backside seven. seven. And now we get to go to the double up. There we go, another one. Second so, rider, another two stand up passes, and we're gonna see another double up. This is really exciting. 
All right, Dan, you just heard the announcer say he looks like he's having so much fun, and I would have to agree. Even about to charge this double up right now. Double oh. back roll just going down on that one. Sam Brown still having two stand-up passes. This is anyone's game, and this is not over yet. We have Corey down at the water with Sam Brown right now. All right, Sam, killer run out there. How are you feeling? Yeah, pretty tired, to be honest. Legs are shaking a little bit. but <laughs> <I can tell. laughs> Yeah, but um, no, I had a lot of fun out there, to be honest. And um, I smoothed out there today, luckily. And nah, I, was, I had fun. Didn't do all my tricks that I wanted to do, but hey, it's a part of the game, and I'm here to play it. There you go. Okay, out of all the tricks you did do, what was your favorite? Uh, the Moby Dick Five. I, I enjoyed doing that. It felt good. Look good, too. Thanks. Look good doing what you do, my friend. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's, a, that's the ultimate goal, I guess. <laughs> all right, well, cool. We'll see how it all ends up. Back to you guys. All right, next off the dock, we've got Tyler Hyam. Tyler, out of Oregon, he's got that West Coast style, so he's got a little something different than everyone else. 100%, Lexa. Coming in here, three to one tail grab, like you said, that unique West Coast <laughs> style right Take off one. the bat. Not wasting any time to show that off. Cab, front side seven. I mean, it was a nine. Was it? Oh, it was a Spinning nine. Spinning like a top with the 900 second trick. He's not holding anything back right now, charging be, it right out the gate. Coming back with another regular heel side wrap nine, back to back 900s in this stand up pass so far, and that. Beautiful little melon mobe. I mean, you want to talk about putting that little cap and the cherry on the Sunday? This is how we do it. <laughs> and I feel like Tyler's been a little frustrated. Last contest, I know he just didn't do what he wanted to do. And it takes a lot of guts coming out here right now in the first three tricks. You're showing style and then you're getting tech with two back-to-back -back heel nines. Yeah. Standing up pass number one, he's got a second pass coming in wrapped KGB again. KGB five locking that in, super technical there. Looks like he's coming in wrapped on his toes here. Gonna see tote backside oh. seven, just popping the handle on it. Popping the handle, like we said, there are some rollers out there, so every now and then you're gonna get hung up on that wake. But that's because there's a huge party going no. on <laughs> right on the other side. The flow till is out there, so it's totally worth it. Plus, these guys are pros. There's no excuses when you're the best in the world. That is true, Alexa. All right, we've got Corey down on the dock with Tyler right now. Listen, Ty, I know uh, you're not feeling so great right now. Maybe some nerves today or what? No, I don't really know what happened. I just can blow it. It was a pretty easy final to win and just rode like shit, so I don't really know what to say. Pretty bummed. I mean, you, you can't win them all, okay? I your mom, won you're, one before, so yeah. Well, you can't, you can't always have your best day. So, but how do you come back from this? I guess maybe it's motivational or what do you think? I mean, I'm pretty good at coming back from each keep riding at home. Pretty used to this by now, so I'll just keep going, I guess. All right, well, and we're going to see you in Florida. Yeah. And, and you're going to come back. It's going to be your big comeback, and I'm going to be there. I'm going to see you there, and you're going to kill it. See you there. Thanks. <laughs> All right, three riders down. That means we have just three more to go to see who's going to take the W at the main event of the 2023 Pro Wakeboard Tour, stop number two. Welcome back to the second stop of the 2023 Pro Wakeboard Tour here in Ackworth, Georgia. We are three riders down in the main event, which means we have three left to decide who's going to take that Pro Wakeboard Final. That's right, Alexa. We've had some great performances so far, but we've got three riders left up off the dock. we got Jamie, the young gun, first of the tour, Shota, the veteran, and Jake Pilat, Mr. Old Reliable. So these next three guys off the dock are going to be bringing it for sure. Dan, I think it's really, really important to mention that we have a lot of different countries represented in this final. We have five different countries. We have Argentina, Australia, the U.S., Japan, and now with Jamie Huser going Switzerland, truly an international contest. Jamie starting <laughs> off, okay, front Ma side nine. To the flats, may we add? <laughs> Coming now back in on his toe side edge here. Pro Mobe 540, big. And Jamie, of course, winning the Pro Junior overall last year. So this is his first year in Pro Wakeboard, but clearly making it obvious that he deserves to be here. With that double grab toe side backside oh, and now going okay. bummy wrap. 
You want to put, you want to tell the judges and put an exclamation point on pass number one. That's the way you do it. I mean, just doing it different than anyone else and a technical trick at that is so impressive. I can't wait to see what he's got here in his second pass, standing up that first one with a great combination of tech with style and of course taking some risks out there and that's what the judges truly want to see. Heel side, back mode, nice little tweak there. Like again, like you're saying, that style, but also bringing the amplitude to his riding that the judges are clearly looking for. Yeah, he's taking a big cut here. Oh, waiting for just the perfect moment to hit that wake going toe, toe side, side nine. He's bringing it back and forth, linking this second pass together. Coming now in on his toe side approach again. Dum Dum Five? That is Cuckoo Banana. Get this. Banana Lands. And we go Whirly, <laughs> whirly Dick. Whirly Seven. Whirly Seven. I mean, Jamie's putting it down for pass number two. <laughs> and you know what that means? We now get to go to the double up. That's right. I mean, we could highlight so much in that run. My head is kind of spinning right now. Dan, with Jamie getting set up for this double up, Pretty much everyone is making their way down to the beach to get as close as they possibly can to see what he's going to do. I mean, he's truly pushing the sport of wakeboarding with those first two passes. I, I have no idea what to expect out of this double up. Yeah, as this weight comes together on the Supra SA550, let's see what Jamie can throw down here. Coming in on his heel side edge. Backside 720. Clean. Maybe, maybe not connecting as he wanted to, but I mean, he just stood up a back seven. I don't think he is that bummed. No. Everyone on shore is going crazy. I can't wait to hear what he has to say. Corey, down to you guys. I mean, that was definitely one of the hugest runs of the day so Thank far. You. you look like you're having fun out there. I was. I was so stoked hearing everyone cheering. It really like pumped me up. I mean, I fell in the first round and I was like, I'm just going to try my best out there, have fun. And like, it really helped all the people out here. For sure. I mean, I saw you uh, drive by the boats. You're like waving yeah, at them. You're getting all pumped for your double yeah. up. Yeah, I know. It was. I was so stoked. It's, it's such an awesome, like such an awesome event here. So nice. It's pretty calm uh, water, so it's good. Do you think having the high score in the quarters really gave you that confidence for today? I mean, it definitely did. I didn't think I was like I could be up there. Like this is my second pro event, so I'm just trying like to go with the guys and. I don't know how I did it, but it's such an awesome feeling. I'm so stoked. I'm so happy right now. Oh, man. I, I got goosebumps it. for you. <laughs> Big things oh, for this guy you. right here. Look out for him. I'm back to you guys in the studio. And next up, we have Supra team rider Shota Tezuka. And my favorite thing about Shota is that he likes to fly. He does. Shota has his own unique style that nobody has besides Shota. So let's go to the water here and pass number one. Big curl mode, five, holding the grab super long on that one, showing the judges, coming in on his heel side here, heel side, back, front side seven, super locking smooth. it in, super smooth. That unique show to style like we were just talking about, toe side nine, got and the spins. Being a super rider, he is used to this wake. He knows exactly what he's getting when he cuts in. He knows the transitions. Coming in wrap there with the heel side, back side seven. I think he's stoked. I'd I, be stoked if I were him. 100% for sure. That Roswell re replay, obviously going heel seven, toe, se or toe nine, uh, heel seven, back to back to back, plus opening up that run like he did. Shota's got it going on for sure. Let's see what he can do here for pass number two. Shota is a veteran out here on the Pro Wake Tour, and it is showing in his consistency, in his trick decision making here. There you go, uh, switch, KGB, um, back mode. That mo. was a back mode. Hard to see now on that angle there. There we go, roll the blinds. Wrapped, roll the blind, unique style there, holding it a little bit different than some of the other riders for sure. Cutting in here on his toe side. Toe, oh, just going, going down. down on it. Well, Shota going down there, obviously not ideal, but like I said, he always keeps his composure. I'm sure he's got it right now, down on the water with Corey. All right, Shota, you showed up today. Um, what goes into like your training as you're riding at home? You know, just the level of wakeboarding right now, it's everyone's crazy, you know, doing some a lot of the hard tricks. So I'm just trying to do my best and then trying to put it put together in the contest. For sure. How do you think you showed up today? 
I mean, I mean, not the best what I wanted to do, but I mean, looking for the next one and yeah, just keep continue. And that's all you can do. Thank you very much. Keep showing up, my friend. <laughs> Arigato. <laughs> Arigato. Well, last off the dock, but certainly not least, is our top seed, Jake Pilat. Old reliable. Old reliable. I mean, old reliable is coming in here. Switch heel side approach. Front side nine. Jake, the past two days has just been riding. I think the best he's ever ridden in his life, and it's so fun to see. This guy's always got a smile on his face. Nice. Going little. roll to blind right there. Super technical on that trick for coming in here now on his toe side. There we go. Very unique evaluation of a chromo. Grabbing it and then doing a late handle pass there. And then heel side, front side, 720 to cap it back off. Jake putting it down on pass number one. That's right, and I can't see his face right now, but I can <laughs> almost guarantee he's got a big smile on his face because this guy is always happy and it's showing in his riding right now. Going back to the replay, maybe not getting as technical as he wanted on a couple of those tricks, just going for the chromo versus crow five, but standing it up, riding it smooth. He knows what he has to do right now. So we'll see what he's got on pass two. Mr. Old Reliable Jake Pilat coming in here on his heel side edge for pass number two. There's the back mode, holding the grab the whole entire time. Gonna switch back around, coming back in again on his heel side edge here. Backside 720, locking that in for that. Nice. You've got the technical, you got the spins. Let's see what he's got coming now in on his toe side. Toe side 900. Yes. You can hear the crowd behind us going <laughs> off. The so flotilla's stuck. going off. We've got one more trick to see if he can make it to the double up. Three to one. Super steezy, showing off that style. Two stand up passes means we're going to the double up. The conditions are perfect. That Super SA 550 is going to come around. Those wakes are going to converge, and we're going to see what old Mr. Palat can do here on this heel side approach. Heel side, three to one. <laughs> three to one. He's stoked. He's stoked. The crowd Everyone's is stoked. You stoked. can see that smile on old Mr. Palat. He's going to come right in. Let's go back to that Roswell replay one more time on that double up for that three to one out of Jake, and you can see the crowd is going nuts. So fun to see. We're just gonna have to wait for the judges now. All I know is that everyone's stoked for Jake and uh, this could be his day. Jake Block coming in hot. Yo, you crushed it out there. How you feeling? Thank you, yeah, I'm, I'm stoked. I was didn't really expect to put that run together and especially not the double up. So I'm, I'm hyped on that. The conditions are challenging, but it was, uh, it's fun. It feels good. There's a lot of buildup going into this run, going into today. Did you have like ever? You got to go last. I mean, what kind of strategy goes into that? Uh, it's nice because you can watch everybody before you, but I'm definitely not used to being in that position. I'm usually early in the final, so being last off the dock is a is a switch up for sure. But it was cool. There's a lot of internal pressure on that, but it was nice to put it together. You definitely crushed it out there. And so did that Super SA 550. Um, we can't wait to see where you land up. We're, we're excited for you, but we're going to throw it back to the studio right now. Alexa, Dan, what are your thoughts? Well, Dan, that was something different than we have seen in many years. Having Nick and Corey out, it really opened the door for some new faces new storylines to develop what did you think i mean yeah to say to have those top two contenders for the last three four seasons out not making it to finals now opening that door up for J jamie and jake and sam and tyler and all these guys that kind of make finals and to not really not and the amplitude that these guys brought to the table did not disappoint i will say that i am so glad i'm not a judge by any means on this finals run everybody threw down and I'm excited to see where these scores end up. That's right. Like you said, Jamie, coming off of Junior Pro last year, riding in his rookie season in the Pro Wakeboard sector, throwing down. Then you've got Jake Pilat, who hasn't been in many finals, certainly not riding this well in anything that I have seen lately. And then you've got style from Sam Brown and Tyler Heim. Just letting them highlight what they do best and giving this a different flavor was so exciting to see. And with that said, we've got the results in. And in first place, it's the rookie, Jamie Huser, with a score of 97.67. In second place, Jake Pilat with a 95. And in third, Sam Brown with an 87. But we've got Corey down at the PTM podium, speaking with the winner himself. Corey, down to you and Jamie. I mean, this is only your second 
pro tour yeah. stop um, in you must be feeling on cloud nine. Yeah, I'm like, I feel great. I, I can't believe it. It's like, it, it feels like it didn't even happen. So I just can't wait for the moment where I realize it actually happened, but I'm so stoked. I'm so happy, yeah. This is, the proof is in the pudding yeah, here, right? How does it feel to be a tour champion? Uh, it's, I, I can't describe it. It just feels so good. Yeah, as you said, it's my second uh, stop here in uh, pro, at the pro tour. And um, I didn't think I was gonna get I was like hoping to get into finals and then I don't know it just happened it was so great it was, it was that big cheer yeah, uh, sure. against the boats against the yeah. crowd that got you hype and yeah. pump and there you go yeah there the, you are. the crowd definitely got to me they like cheered so hard I was just I was having so much fun you really look like you're having fun um, celebrations out there and there's gonna be celebrations tonight so enjoy yeah. it Thank you. We can't wait to see what's uh, in the future for you um, but that is all for me here today, it's been awesome. Congrats again, um, Alexa. Dan, what are your final thoughts? Thanks, Corey. What a weird weekend, Alexa. I mean, not having Nick or Corey in the finals really shook things up in a way that Jamie capitalized, like he should. And to say that you capitalized as a rookie in your second ever pro wakeboard tour stop and to take that win home is awesome. Super pumped for him seeing all the guys go out there and throw down behind the Super SA 550. But yeah, just a overall weird weekend. Sam Brown in his unique style, Jake Palat with his old reliable, you just know what he's coming with. And I just love the fact here, out at Lake Alatuna, the crowd was here. We got the flotilla behind us. What a great weekend. I think you said it best. It was weird. This is truly going to shake up the overall 2023 Pro Wakeboard standings. So we can't wait to see what happens at the next stop next month in Florida. So for Dan Olson, Corey Yarkin, myself in the Pro Wakeboard Tour, we will see you next time.